your kids that are born, a child being born today in Tembisa or, or, to, or Soweto Kukule to Alexandra doesn't matter where, even in Santon, not that we're excluding the, the suburbs, anywhere in South Africa is born in debt. It's born in debt. Domestic debt and international debt. Domestic debt you're born in Soweto, they're telling you that you own 17 billion. First day, wah, okolta billions, but okolta 17 billion. Marantana Kofoways, they don't, they don't give us a blanket approach on electricity debt if you're living in four ways. So if you make it out of Soweto or Tembisa, that means you just walked away from a 17 billion rent debt and a new kid who's coming in must inherit your debt. What system of nonsense is this? What does even make sense to you? Can't. So that means what Mandela used as electricity, his, the electricity that he consumed with his generation, Desmond Bishop Tutu and Bishop Tutulibo, Mama Winnie Mandela, Bo Kofel, Kofel, I'm, I'm, I'm now liable for that debt. Nah, because it's a blanket approach when it comes to the township. No, someone must speak the truth and we must be honest about these things. So we can't have black children born in debt because they want systematically to trap us and to continue the, the, the slavery, systematic slavery. Because slavery is not physical anymore. It's in the systems, the religious systems, the economic systems, the political systems, the education system. Nonsense, this education system. There's nothing that you're teaching our kids. You and I are product of nonsense education systems, boo. Somebody got to tell them. Somebody got to tell them. 30% of nothing. Even if it goes to, even if they say pass mark is 80%, it's 80% of nothing. There's a German kid right now, as you and I speaking, subject Daike mining. But when you look at his continent, wherever he comes from, there's no minerals underground. But the boys are, and girls are being taught about mining and minerals. Me and you, there was no subject called mining in, in, in high school. What mining did were you taught in high school? What's the process to start a mine? What, just tell me basics of mining. But mining is a strong pillar, probably amongst the strongest pillars of our economy. So that means that there's a child in, in Germany somewhere that's being prepared in Asia somewhere that's being prepared to come and run this economy while your kids are being prepared to come and work for those German kids that are going to come here in future. Because your kids are being taught uh, uh, how, to, how to do nonsense, how to label an insect. I'm an to say insect to label insect. Listen, our economy in this country, it's agriculture. Our economy in this country, I can, I can even break down what agriculture is. I can, mining, manufacturing. manufacturing. Why aren't those things primary subjects in, in primary school, in high school? So that you've got a basic understanding of your own economy. That means some people must come from somewhere to run this economy because your kids were never taught anything about this economy. So don't, don't even, we mustn't even just dare to want to argue with me, not you personally, anyone about the education system or any other system in this country. It's not, it's designed to continue systematic slavery and suppress the people of the day and, and make sure that the future belongs to those who are prepared for it. Definitely not your children. <laughs>